show, we will start immediately because it starts raining and that might be a problem for our robots. What we want to show to you is the risk and disaster training session. We will start with a disaster scenario on the roof of the building. We'll see in a few seconds or minutes, we will see some smoke advancing from the rooftop and the fire brigade will come here to the disaster, to the simulated disaster area to rescue victims and fight the fire. And we will see, first in the first scenario, we will see a flying robot in action. focus in doing this uh, research on unmanned aerial vehicles is to make them more autonomous. Uh, so the primary, our primary goal is to, to develop this technology uh, further, to advance in this technology, make them more robust and make them more autonomous that, such that the robot can fly autonomously and deliver images uh, to the first time responders in, re uh, in real time. So what, do you, what, do you, what we see today is uh, uh, this quadrocopter, uh, so in front of us, and this quadrocopter will hopefully s start very soon. And, and um, this, cam uh, this uh, quadrocopter is equipped with a camera, and the, uh, the images captured from the cameras are downstreamed uh, to the fire brigade, and the fire brigade get the first bird eyes view of the scene uh, which is typically unknown uh, at the beginning of the, of the uh, mission. Yes, I think the pictures of the quadrocopter are transmitted to the screen behind us. I can't see it, but I hope the spectators have a good view. And it's flying wonderful. It's beyond the rooftop now. Uh, is rain a problem for you? Is rain a problem to steer such a robot? Yeah, so the current technology is not really water waterproof in a sense, but until now I think the rain is sufficiently low and we can fly. Uh, you have to imagine that this device is battery powered. Uh, it has a standard battery like, like we use every day in our cell phones. Uh, and it's equipped with these four uh, electric motors and can be operated up to 15 minutes with one with one battery and the total weight is less than one kilogram